because we are getting our first pictures now of this delivery uh, in Austin of the very first Cybertruck. And uh, as you see Elon Musk there, Phil, you want to talk about uh, what we're witnessing here? It's two years later than expected, but nonetheless, a pretty big moment here. It is a big moment, Scott. And, and look, Elon Musk, they love these delivery events. It's a chance for him to say, you know what, what we do, nobody else in the auto industry does. They have a number of their employees as well as customers who are there. He's got a fan base that is there. For them, this is their rock show. And what you're going to see if you watch this, let's say over the next half hour or so, it's going to be vintage Elon Musk. The Cybertruck, he will tell you, is unlike anything else. It's the most boss truck in the world. It will have incredible performance, yada, yada, yada. All the things that he has said before, only he'll say it now on stage. And who knows? You know, they may do something uh, kooky or wacky where they show how indestructible it is uh, in some fashion. So that, that's what you can expect from, from Elon Musk. Typically, these are kind of fun to watch, though I have to point out, every once in a while, he has an event like this, and you kind of come away going, that's it? I'm underwhelmed. Let's see what uh, Elon we get here now. Special moments. <laughs> um, so, but, but these things are rare. The, the, it's very rare that a product comes along that is uh, seemingly impossible, uh, that, that people said was impossible, that experts said was impossible. And this is one of those times. We have a, we have a, a car here that experts said was impossible, that experts said would never be made, that uh, it, it, it really is the most, I think, it's, I think it's our best product, I think it's the most unique thing on the road, and finally, the future will look like the future. So. So what, what we're aiming for here is something that has, that's more truck than truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> that's literally my brother there. <laughs> so, um, and, and so what we have here is, is something that is a better truck than a truck, while also being a better sports car than a sports car in the same package. So, first of all, let's, uh, you know, they talk about how, you know, trucks are tough. That's one of the defining characteristics of a truck. So, how tough is this truck? Let's find out. So, we actually had to come up with a special, ultra-strong, uh, Tesla-designed steel alloy. So, this alloy, did this, 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 Metal did not exist before. Uh, we needed something that you could actually manufacture, but uh, that, that would be, uh, have basically no corrosion, um, that didn't need paint, uh, but you can still make it in volume. And part of the reason that it has this angular shape is you can't actually stamp these body panels. The body panels would break the stamping machine. So, uh, Oh, and I should say also, the, because of the steel exoskeleton, it actually has more torsional rigidity than a sports car. It has more torsional stiffness than a McLaren P1. So, it's, that's very, that's a big deal. Um, <laughs> now, you may remember an incident four years ago. <laughs> it didn't quite go as planned. <laughs> and, um... Franz, uh, maybe we should try it again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah well... <laughs> Don't miss. <laughs> yeah. Great. I mean, I think you could, we could probably have a pro pitcher uh, love it. It would still work. Um, so anyway, it's the, the, it's, uh, the glass is tough, basically. That's what we're saying. Um, so 
uh, you don't have to worry about like rocks hitting the glass and cracking the glass. This, gla this uh, glass is, is basically rock proof. Um, it also makes the car very quiet. So it's, the, the, the thing that you'll appreciate when you drive the car is, that, is how smooth and quiet it is. It, do, it, does, it, feels, it doesn't feel like, like a normal truck. It's, it's smooth as silk and, and, and silent uh, in, when, you, when you drive it. Um, and um, yeah, so in, tough, in terms of toughness. And then things like rollover, because the center of gravity uh, is so low, it doesn't roll over. And if you're ever in an argument with another car, you will win. Yeah, so in, in movies, you sometimes see the hero or heroine uh, hiding behind the car door uh, while being shot with bullets. That doesn't actually work un unless you're driving a Cybertruck. So uh, if Al Capone showed up with a Tommy gun and emptied the entire magazine, into the car door, you would still be alive. So, uh, you know, and so people say like, well, you know, why did you make it bulletproof? I'm like, why not? <laughs> Do you want to, how tough is your truck? Because the, the, the other trucks, the bullets go through both sides. So uh, you shoot a bullet, goes through both sides of the car. Um, and, uh, you know, you never know. I mean, sometimes you get these like, late civilization vibes. <laughs> You know, you never know when the, the apocalypse uh, could come, come along at any moment. And um, at here at Tesla, we have the finest in apocalypse uh, technology. Hey, I need everybody to clear out. We've already tested shopping carts and we've tested door dings. Today, we're going to get a chance to test the actual bullet performance. So when we first started the design for Cybertruck, the goal was to come up with something that had an exoskeleton. We had to make a custom alloy to make it more ductile. While we're at it, we also made it a bit more corrosion resistant. So this is a 300 series. Our panels are up to 1.8 millimeters thick. So actually carrying structural load, not just there for aesthetics. Obviously we didn't design it to be bulletproof, but if it works out in the end, it's just icing on the cake. So we've got a couple guns here to go through, starting with a nine millimeter Glock, shotgun, double op buck, and of course, Tommy gun, 45 caliber. So we'll get all these through tested today and we'll see the results. Range is hot! Clear! I was really nervous. It's hard to say how nervous I was, but it worked out. We, we took a Tommy gun to the side of this truck and everything looks intact. All right, moment of truth. It's pretty good. This one intense. Yes! Oh, Happy? <laughs> okay. So that's nine millimeter, 115 grain from a Glock. We're looking pretty good. We've got one spot where we got a double hit, and so we've got a little bit of cracking, but everywhere else, we've just got a crater. Looks good. All right, so this was an MP5. It's the same nine millimeter, 115 grain. It's going a bit faster. We've got only a four inch barrel, but an eight inch suppressor on that. So you can kind of see obviously a bit more tighter grouping, but um, yeah, still no penetration. So looking good. This is a 12 gauge M4 shotgun. 
with double lot buck. Took five rounds, held up pretty well. We had one where we got two of the buck shots hit right in the same spot. Got a bit of a through hole there. Let's see if it made it all the way through. Well, the inside of the panel's good. There's no hole here. Let's see about the glass. Yeah, we got a little crack in the glass, but it held. All the windows are intact. Everything functions just as it did when we started here. So I call it a success. <laughs> So don't believe the movies. When you shoot a normal truck, the bullets go in one side, straight through, and out the other side. You cannot hide behind the vehicle to be safe. So it's something to keep in mind, unless you're in a cyber truck. This is a self-propelled sled. It pulls itself backwards. This weighs about 35,000 pounds. As the box moves forward, it increases the weight onto the pan, which is here on the ground, causing the driver to go no further. The sled will always win. It's got so much weight behind it. The mark of success here is as far forward along the track as you can get. Today we've got a couple vehicles here. Having the vehicles fully charged matters because that's when you have your peak power. Making sure they're all fully charged really gets us on the same playing field. We wanted to bring not just an EV competitor, so we also looked at what is a great internal combustion engine vehicle that's got huge towing capacity and great capability. Tractive power is really how much can you get that power from the motor to the ground. Truck pull is a showcase of power and tractive power of the truck. And that translates directly to on the road towing, towing your boat, towing your payload. What we've designed the truck to be is like really comfortable, really stable, really powerful at high payloads. And that gives you the ability to be confident on road. In order to make this a really apples to apples comparison, we're running them as they come straight from the factory. So stock tires, they're running at a curb weight plus driver. A heavier truck in this kind of event will typically give you more momentum with the truck itself. So coming in here with a truck that's one of the lightest in this group, if not the lightest, and out pulling everybody else, really says something about the capabilities of the vehicle. 